It's the largest ancient palace in the world. It symbolized political power in China for 500 years and has been the subject of legend, myth, and Hollywood movies. It was the center of an empire shrouded in mystery. Now its imposing gates have been opened to the world and it's become one of the most visited tourist sites on earth. The Forbidden City blankets over seven million square feet of central Beijing next to Tiananmen Square. That's the size of 80 football fields. It's surrounded by a moat in a massive rectangle. In the early 1400s, Emperor Zhu Di moved the capital of China to Beijing to establish control over the whole country from its center. The heart of the new capital was the Forbidden City, which took over a million laborers and artisans 14 years to build. The Forbidden City is reputed to have a total of 9,999.5 rooms, as close as you can get to the Palace of the Gods, which is said to have 10,000 rooms. It was a mysterious compound, meant to be a sacred replica of God's palace in heaven. It symbolized the center of the country. It is the residence of the emperor. It is the place where orders are given. It is the place where the emperor received the mandate of heaven. It was called the Forbidden City for good reason. Nowadays, the public can enter for about $10, but up until the 20th century, the price of unauthorized entry was much higher. Execution by beheading. Even within the city walls, there were no-go areas according to rank and status. To walk in these areas without permission was to invite swift and severe punishment. By the end of the 18th century, the Forbidden City had a population of around 9,000 people, including civil servants, concubines, eunuchs, guards, and servants. But their movement was carefully restricted according to rank Throughout the imperial age, only a chosen few could enter the Forbidden City by the Meridian Gate. The design of the gate is in accordance with the prevailing regulations of the times, where the emperors and empresses entered through the main gate, while other court officials would enter through other gates, based upon their expected ranks and grades. Beyond the threshold of the gate, and across the five marble bridges, is the biggest courtyard of the Forbidden City. This leads to the Gate of Supreme Harmony and then to the most important building in the kingdom, the Hall of Supreme Harmony. It is the largest single wooden building in the world. It's at the heart of the palace and the embodiment of imperial power. Inside the Great Hall, the great ceremonies took place. The enthronement of the Crown Prince the emperor's birthday and royal weddings, exclusive and splendid occasions hidden from the common people of China. The emperor's throne, known in Chinese as the dragon chair, is surrounded by six huge golden pillars engraved with dragons, representing the supreme power of the emperor. The throne itself is set back on a two meter high white jade platform. Anyone visiting the emperor would have to kneel down in front of him before taking instructions from their divine leader. On the ceiling above the throne is a magnificent sculpture of a dragon playing with a huge pearl. This legendary pearl is said to have mythical powers. If anyone who was not a descendant of Emperor Qin sat on the throne, it would drop down and strike him to death. The warlord, Yuan Shikai, who attempted to instate himself as emperor, was so afraid that the pearl may fall and hit him that he ordered the throne to be moved slightly backward. To this day, the throne is not directly under the magic pearl. In the deepest part of the Forbidden City is the inner court, where politics are left behind. 
This is the area where the emperor, his concubines, and the empress played out their royal lives in splendor. The structure of the inner court mirrors that of the outer court, three central palaces in order of importance, flanked symmetrically by peripheral buildings. The Palace of Heavenly Purity, the largest of the three rear palaces, was where the emperor slept. It was also used as a place for the emperor's body to lie in state after his death. Once the empresses and concubines entered the Forbidden City, they were never allowed to leave. Women were not allowed to enter the inner sanctum rooms, except for the empress on her wedding day. The imperial garden was the only respite they had from the seemingly endless rows of walls that allowed no glimpse of the outside world. The Forbidden City was the center of power and power struggles for 500 years. 24 emperors spent their lives within these imposing walls until the fall of Imperial China in 1911. The Forbidden City is a national icon and a man-made wonder almost without parallel on the scale of grandeur anywhere in the world. The secrets of centuries of Chinese history lie within its walls. The barriers have come tumbling down. The Forbidden City lives on in the 21st century. Forbidding, but no longer forbidden. China is attracting millions of tourists eager to see at first hand its man-made marvels. The secret life of the world's largest palace a place of prayer that hangs in mid-air. A mountain where a martial art seeks to save our sanity. The Great Wall, the greatest icon of any nation on Earth. A wooden temple built without a single nail. An ancient statue that would tower over the Statue of Liberty and an army of soldiers guarding the world's biggest unexplored tomb. These are the seven wonders of China.